Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today, I'm here at the Compass again to spread the message of freedom. So enjoy the content, please share and subscribe if you can, and let's, uh, let's get to that stateless society together. Take good care. So that's the hidden violence behind government, and that only knows how to solve problems to one way, a singular way, and that's through the throat of the use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of non-violent sources that you and I already share. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, that's, you know, yeah, that's interesting to bring up. Yeah. yeah. So, so you've realized uh, the hidden truth of what government is, that they have a monopoly on these services that they force upon us, and they're not really forced to accept them, but we're forced to pay for them, right? Mm -hmm. Like they have a monopoly on courts, they have a monopoly on judges, on security, on roads, on schools, you can't opt out, cancel your payment, or unsubscribe, or like have the freedom to compete and provide a better service that's not going to be harmful and abusive yeah, to the consumer. Like a force yeah, they are, right? And people are like, I'm against monopolies. Great, so let's be against the biggest monopoly that exists, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I get you. Yeah, so we can still have security, we can still have roads, we can still have all these wonderful things, but in a voluntary interaction, right? Mm -hmm. And the way it's like, well, and have the freedom to compete, mm -hmm. right? Because anytime you have a monopoly on anything, the cost of that always rises, and the quality of that always goes down. Yeah. Right? All right, so cool. All right, you get it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so, so this um, this dance that you and I share against that bias, against strangers arbitrarily deciding how best your life should be lived, is called anarchy. Yes. Right? Like in science, it means an means without, like anions and cations, without. Archy means political rulers. Mm -hmm. Like monarchy, one political ruler. Anarchy means without so, political rulers. We can have rules. So yeah. not no rules, just no rulers. Right, yeah. yeah. We can have a polycentric legal system. Mm -hmm. Right? We can have a real, fair, and impartial justice so people actually feel that they're impartial. That's not going to throw you in contempt of court because you're not wearing the right pants. Yeah. You know? Uh, and then you shouldn't have that kind of fear anyways. Like, the, you don't have that kind of fear when you go to a mall and see that kind of security. They're really there trying to protect their life, right? They're not there to kind of like, well, like, obviously you don't have the inspection sticker on your car, so I'm going to write to you an extortion ticket, and of yeah. course if you don't pay that, you go to a cage. Their incentive system is different. Yeah. Yeah. No, you got it. Yeah, exactly. So, and I'm not new to this. Oh, really? Just, no. Oh, okay. How, how do you know about this then? Um, Libertarian for a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> then, uh, I just I was wondering what your yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering what your sign. If it was the same kind of line or if it yeah. was. Yeah. Um, then have you heard of Freedom Aid Radio? Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, really? Wonderful. Uh, okay. No, this is great. Uh, this is my friend uh, Tyler. Charlie. No, uh, Stefan Molly. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Stefan Molly. Then I've been listening to him for a while, and so then I just saw your sign. Actually, I was riding the bus down there, and I saw you walk in across. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's for that <laughs> or if it was someone else. So right, right, right. I decided to try to find you and come ask. All right. Oh, this is oh, this is great. Okay, you probably maybe two other people I've met here on campus ever heard of Free Domain Radio. Yeah. And uh, for, for me, that's, that's that's the problem. You know, that all this information is out there. Yeah. And I, what I find that's lacking is finding a creative ways to kind of communicate this stuff to each other. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're part of an organization called Liberate RVA. Liberate our community from the idea that violence will set us free. Not just state violence, but the violence between each other and especially the violence is on the children. And yeah. of course, if you listen to Freedom Domain Radio, yeah. Yeah. you know all about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. Okay, great. This is really cool. All right. Uh, we're, we're having a party later tonight if you want to come. If you're free, of course. Let me give you a... Do you get to talk to a lot of people about Freedom Man Radio? Like, do a I? Do uh, a lot of people even understand where he's coming from? No. That's what I <laughs> no, thought. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of refreshing. No, that is, people, I mean, as he, right? I think he states many times, it is a very violent conversation. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it, it doesn't have to be. It, it doesn't, doesn't have, have to be, be but yeah. they generally make it out to be. Yeah, so. and I think you know, for, for the thing is that the approach, like the approach like we were talking, I found it talking about these questions, setting up Socratically, mm -hmm. to be the best way to, to kind of people understand uh, anarchy. I have, yeah. haven't had any problems, except for maybe one communist a few days ago, but well, that was about it. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, I would have liked to been there. I'm sure that was a fiery conversation. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. It really was. Because at the end of it, he, he wants to use violence to solve his problems. The, the only way he knows out of the matrix is using violence. It's like, you want to end this violent system by using violence. Yeah, you wanna it doesn't make much sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so cool. My name is Cal. Hi, nice to meet you, Charlie. Charlie, pleasure to meet you, Charlie. All right, this is cool. All right, um, all right so how did you get, how did you find about Free Domain Radio? Oh, well, how did you uh, come into that? Um, I started, well, it was, a, it was about... A year ago, maybe. Yeah. I guess what started with me is I had a uh, I had a teacher who did something different in high school. He kind of like the whole he was teaching us about the Great Depression, and he did something that I've never seen a teacher do before. He wrote like all the stuff that was in the textbook that you were supposed to know, and he just took a step back and he had this thing he'd always lean against his like uh, filing cabinet. Yeah. And uh, when he, he that's when I knew he was going to tell us something a little different. And he says, "I want you to know, like half of that isn't true." And so like that to me like. Like, and to me, it kind of was like, oh my goodness, a public education teacher just told me something that the stuff yeah, I'm learning is crap. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, of course, actually next year he disappeared. But, uh, oh, wow. well, he, yeah, they yeah, say he yeah. retired, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I won't, I won't yeah, assume. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, 
So it started there. I got into a global issues class, um, was conservative for a while, and found that, that sparked my interest in this stuff. And then I uh, found Milton Friedman, then I found Mises, then I found Rothbard, then I found, I found all these just ideas. And then um, there's a specific video, I forget, I forget which one it was, I think it was like 19... 33 questions libertarians. Some One of those kind of like, some, so many amount of questions libertarians can't answer. And then yeah. it was Stefan Mullen, never heard of the guy, I watched his video, I thought it was really smart, I thought it was really inviting, uh, just the way he presented himself. And so from there it just kind of spiraled. Nice! Yeah. Oh, wonderful. All right, great. You're pretty much out of the matrix on your own kind of curiosity and exploration for that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. That is that's great. So um, yeah, if you want people to talk about these ideas, but I know a lot of people are kind of alienated. Yeah, it's hard to... Because <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of, like, even the sociology class I'm taking right now, um, it's all about, like, the wire and, like, the drug war, and they're, like, trying to preach Marxism. Like, if the police force was more Marxist, if everything was, like, more, like, you know, I don't know, all that crap, then everyone would live in a better society. But through applying Marxism, we have to, like, take away the right of personal property. So, in a lot of ways, that's more violent than whatever yeah. taxes would be. Uh, yeah, so I, I remember we had this discussion earlier. So, interesting, so with, with uh, universities and state propaganda, they want to teach Marxism. There's a specific reason why I think it's because at least you can channel people's uh, interest in radicalism. And you can tell them this is radicalism, but forget Lysander Spooner, forget uh, yeah. Rothbard, you know, never hear about those guys. So you can channel that the intensity people want for change, because the thing with Marxism and communism, they still advocate for government. You know, so they know at the very least in the end, the matrix was just reboot itself, right? Yeah. So it's just interesting where, I mean, a lot of this stuff is nothing but propaganda in life. So it's interesting your teacher will come on and say, you know what? It's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on Marxism? You know, to be honest, I've never really studied it too much. I'm just starting to study it. Like, I, uh... Not Go on, go on. It's just, it's just like they feel, just like libertarians, that within the system you can change it for the better. But libertarians are kind of like shutting it down to the free market, whereas they'd be like closing in on the free market. And as long as government goes about it the right way, yeah. everything will be better. And the best way to do that is like literally taking businesses away from small owners or just individuals and corporations and giving them back to government. I think, I think everything should be run by the government is what they're going for. They, they want so it's really them, yeah. weird. So like you can just have enough regulation so everyone has a government job and that's the best way to get a job and it still is kind of like the best way to get a job in America is government. Yeah. Yeah. but uh, they want to expand that whole market and um, I don't know what it is they feel like the law is like the ultimate morality imposed on a society so anyone working outside of that deserves whatever and moral behavior all the violence it's totally worth yeah. doing I think it's a natural re reaction to corporatism uh, you know without a government there'd be no such thing as a corporation yeah it's just a piece of paper uh, that allows them to escape personal liability responsibility so a lot of this this uh, action that people have I think is misdirected towards corporations to distract them from the source and that's that's the Leviathan, you know, that's yeah. government, right? The corporation are like the little tiny Peter Fish that feed well. off the scraps. They mean yeah. well, it's just you're yeah, like you said, the intentions in the wrong place. Yeah. And then this all and that's all in the school books. We have to regulate it, regulate it, regulate it, thinking that's the answer. It's like no, it's the government created this problem in the first place, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I think one thing Stefamali always says, like 99, I mean, uh, reform is another way of saying that the last 99 attempts just didn't work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's got to tell you something, right? As a regular business, if they were, if this wasn't, if this was able to compete in a free market, they would have collapsed and go into bankrupt, right? Mm -hmm. So, they'd be gone with him. They'd be gone. The yeah. That it filed with it yeah. yeah. Um, so, what's your major, man? Mechanical engineering. Awesome. Nice. All right, something objective. Mm -hmm. Good, good. What do you think of seed? With what? The seed program they got going on? I do not that. Oh. Pretty much all the engineer guys like work together to make like innovative different ways to go about the market. They promote them with a bit school of business. So like if you had an invention you wanted to come up with, like, never mind then. Like if you don't, I don't want to. No, like, go on. It's okay. So. Um, so yeah, I think they're having a barbecue tomorrow. <laughs> if you went to the Sobo Fair, you know. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of student organizations that you can work with in VCU to kind of do your own thing. That's, I mean, I don't know. Have you thought about it? Yeah, actually, yeah. Telling, well, <laughs> again, like they wouldn't take your idea, they just help yeah, market it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, whatever you want. Oh, cool. Oh, that's, that's yeah. good. That's good. I nice. can make it up to the party, man. You have a lot of fun. Yeah, no, this is great then. Um, 
Well, I don't know where to start. So you, you already have, like, have, a, have a very good grasp of the nature of the matrix there. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's pretty much what I do here. Just pretty much uh, trying to communicate these ideas and try to help people understand the matrix of the violence around the state. And uh, to turn away, turn to our community, uh, right, to the free and voluntary interaction you and I raised our three now already share, and turn away from government. Right. And, uh, you know, it's kind of working in Detroit. You hear, like, what's going on in Detroit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so there's a bankruptcy issue there, but there's, there's anarchists there who, who are finding other solutions outside of the state. So there's other groups around the yeah, country doing this. Was... The Michigan Peace and Liberty Coalition. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So uh, and, yeah, so for me, it's like there's there's ways to go out of that, and we're, we're doing the same thing. So we've been doing this for for a good year, but now it's kind of get to the point where kind of we're able now to to do a lot more, come out here more often, and kind of expand now. <laughs> So this is great, yeah, uh, definitely come by if you're free, it's at 7 p.m. It's uh, less than a five minute bike ride from here. There's a potluck, there's gonna be a fire pit, there's gonna be a pretty much philosophical discussion in an after party. Okay. So do you have anything to burn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm burn like old So this is great, man. It's a pleasure to meet you then. Oh, good to meet you too. Yeah. The government's not perfect, so. Yeah, yeah, and the, 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 It takes a little more creativity to do what they want to do without violence, and I think they just lack that creativity. Well, yeah, but the, uh, well, yeah, okay, I, I can see that. Um, but I, but the thing is, in, it's inherently even funded through through that violence because you have to take every steal everyone's money to fund those ideas. Like, if you have a good idea, it doesn't require force, right? You actually You're, don't have to steal everyone's money. They could just budget better, but they don't. They don't, yeah. So that's what's like. They just don't. They're not creative. Like, right. They don't think. But they, in they, ways. Right, and they can't because they have a monopoly. Right. If you have a monopoly on these services that they force us to accept, and we have to pay for it. And without competition, there's no reason for them to be created. I mean, if people can't buy their services anymore, then they would have to think a little bit more on how to make it accessible to still right. make money. Right. So, eventually they will have to be a little more creative than they are now, <laughs> because eventually people won't be able to use what they provide. Right, and, and that's what happened in Detroit. Uh, so, like, the government of Detroit became unsustainable and they collapsed. And yeah. it just filed for bankruptcy. Right. right. It takes like over an hour for the police to respond to 911 calls, mm -hmm. mass transit shut down. Uh, so, there's a lot of problems in that. This government service yeah. has been withdrawn. And so, that's, that happens to every city, state, every city that's controlled by government. Already, uh, cities in uh, California filed for bankruptcy. San Clemente is in billions of dollars in debt. So, you look at, uh, I guess, the nature of government is that they have a monopoly on, on these services. So, like, they have a monopoly on security, on roads, on courts, on judges, on roads, on even even currency. Yeah. You can't opt out, cancel, unsubscribe, or have the freedom to create something better yeah. that's not going to be abusive and harmful to the consumer. Yeah. Right? So it, it, it is really just about greed. And I think a lot of politicians and a lot of people who are in government right now can hate me, you know, in that chair. They yeah. don't want to give up whatever they have yeah. right now. So their greed is actually just causing everything to not work as well as it should. Well, and then, but the, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, and, and the thing with, with politicians is, in, is, is inherently that that political power corrupts anyone who wields it. Yeah. You know, like even in the end, Frodo couldn't let go of the ring. Yeah. Right. Uh, so that that's the thing of the nature of that. It's like it's, it's a very quick, rich scheme, anyways. Yeah. Right. You go it in there is, for four years. Yeah. You amass so much wealth through, yeah. uh, you know, through, through people giving you money and all this sort of stuff, through political yeah. campaigns, corporations funding you, special gifts, you know, yeah. like uh, Governor McDonald. Yeah. And then um, when you get out, you're set for life. Yeah. You can write a book, you know, $100,000 speaking tours. Uh, so yeah, it kind of makes sense for anyone who wants to go in there. Yeah. It's a great, quick, uh, rich scheme. So, yeah. so I guess the point of making it, what? I don't know. I kind of, I was actually thinking about addiction today and I was just thinking about how Americans think it's addicted to money. Yeah. That the greed is, is kind of addicting. So, I think, um, yeah, just that aspect of the American dream. Right. The delusion of it all is kind of, it's, it's perpetuating unrealistic um, results. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it hasn't gone anywhere. I mean, uh, you can actually suffer with freer today than we were yeah. five years ago, ten years ago. Yeah. Right? We keep losing more and more of these freedoms, and of yeah. course, it gets harder to finally achieve that dream and turn into a reality. Yeah. Um, great. All right. So, I mean, so this philosophy, this I guess this moral stance that you and I share yeah. against that violence, it's called anarchy, right? Yeah. Like in science, it means. It is. Yeah. It calls, it's it called is. anarchy. It is. Uh, like in science, it means uh, without political rulers. Right. Anions and canons. Ants means without. Archy means political rulers, yeah. right? Like monarchy means one political ruler. And anarchy just means without. We can have rules. We can have rules, but we don't need politicians or anybody. Else. Yeah, strangers arbitrarily dictating how best our lives to be lived. Yeah, so I mean, if we just have laws and people to be in 
Yeah, yeah, so yeah, and that's, and that's, that's what would happen. Without a government, you have a polycentric legal system, yeah. right? You can have communities of preference. If you don't like cannabis, great. I won't force it. You do that, what you don't right. want to use, you you put in your own body. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. You can move to another part. You can live in different communities. Yeah. You can have an apartment building complex that's 420 friendly. One across correct. the street, that's not. Yeah. Right? Whatever the rules are dictated on right. this property, right? Yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah, all right. So, uh, well, let me give you uh, some pamphlets then. Here's a, a anarchy pamphlet. All right. <laughs> you got it right just on. I got a book about anarchy. Really? Yeah. Oh, what, what kind of book? What, uh, what are they talking about? It was about? actually just it's all about anarchy books. Yeah? yeah? All right, cool. Great, great. This is good. This is all good. Right. Uh, so we pass out peaceful parenting pamphlets too, and okay. we're having a freedom gathering later this evening if you're open to that. Okay. So it's like potluck philosophical discussion. Pretty much just turning to our community and turning away from those political rules. Okay. Yeah? All right, cool. My name is Cal, by the way. Ariel. Ariel. Pleasure to meet you, Ariel.